Okay, we are at section uh, 22.4, analysis model, uh, particle in a field, uh, an electric field. Um, and we uh, will start off with the, the uh, gravitational field. You know, you know or should know that, that uh, in the presence of uh, you know, two objects exert a gravitational force, one to the other, there's no contact, but there's still a force. So there's, it's a, there's a, a gravitational field where one pulls the other and um, G is equal to the, uh, the f gravitational force divided by uh, a, a M0, a, a, uh, a test mass, uh, so that the uh, F of G is equal to Mg, M being the mass, we, we know that uh, force equals mass times acceleration, G being the gravitational acceleration, so uh, the gravitational force is equal to the mass times the gravitational acceleration. Um, in the same way, you have an, an electric field uh, where you take the electric force divided by a, a test charge, Q sub zero, uh, so the, the force is equal to the Q0 times the electric field, and we'll be using that uh, throughout. So, uh, the so in the top in the top figure, they just show a a um, a point P, and there's an electric field resulting from that point P, and it's to the right. So, if it, since it's a positive charge, the electric field is going uh, outward. And if you were to put a positive point charge uh, at P, the force would be away from it. It would repel. That would be F sub E. Uh, the, uh, if the test charge were negative, the arrow would be pointing in the other direction towards the, the uh, positively charged sphere. Okay, uh, so if Q is positive, the force on the test charge Q0 is directed away from Q. Um, we started with, if you recall Coulomb's law, uh, the electric force is equal to Ke Q Q0 over R squared, where R is the distance uh, directed along the unit vector R. Um, and if, so if Q is positive, it would be pointed away. If, if uh, I'm sorry, if Q0 were po is positive, it's pointed away. If Q0 is negative, it would point towards the positively charged uh, point at Q. Okay, so E, the electric field is equal to uh, the electric force divided by the uh, test charge, Q0. Um, so E is equal to KEQ. Q is not the test charge, it is the charge Q at the, shown at the bottom, divided by R squared, directed along the unit vector R hat. Okay. Um, now, uh, so here's the source charge. It's a, a, a particle with a lot of positive charges on it. And uh, you put a test charge, a positive test charge, you see the force, the electric force is away from the, uh, the ball. Um, just as you have the gravitational, uh, G is equal to the uh, gravitational, uh, you know, 9.8 meters per second, you have the force of gravity divided by M0. So the uh, G times the mass of the Earth uh, divided by R squared is, is, is what gives you G. And it's pointed downward. It's pointed uh, towards the center of the Earth. Um, so force is equal to Mg. Uh, by the same token, we have the uh, E is equal to Ke. Um, and Q divided by R squared in the direction of uh, R hat. Uh, so the force is equal to Q zero E. Um, now for a positive source charge, the electric field at, at P points radially, radially outward from Q. Uh, if Q is negative, as I've been saying, the, the force on the test charge is directed toward the, the, uh, uh, toward the Q. Uh, for a negative source charge, the electric field at P points radially inward toward Q. So if it's a positive charge, the force 
or the electric field is outward. If it's a negative charge, the electric field is inward. And we'll see that a little easier when we get to electric field lines. Um, so here's our Coulomb's law, Fe equals Ke Q, Q0 over R squared uh, along the direction of uh, R hat, the unit vector R hat. Um, now, if you have more than one charge, uh, if you have more than one charge, it's just the, the uh, sum, uh, E is equal to the sum of all the charges. It, you know, so it's gonna be a different charge for each location. It's gonna be a different R. Um, there, there should be a, uh, you can assume a QI at each Q and a, an RI at each, uh, for each denominator, R squared. The R hat will, will change direction, but you just take the sum of all the different charges. I think we have a, I have a homework uh, example uh, of that. Okay, electric force. Um, a test uh, here, uh, they're just showing similar to what we started. You see that the, the little girl sliding down the slide has, has uh, probably picked up electric uh, charges and her hair is all of those, elect those negative uh, electrons are repelling one another in her, so her hair stands, stands out. Um, okay, a test charge of three, a plus three microcoulombs is at a point P where an external electric field is directed to the right and has a magnitude of uh, four times 10 to the six newtons per coulomb. If the test charge is replaced with another test charge of minus three microcoulombs, what happens to the electric uh, to the external electric field at point at point P at at the point P? Uh, it is unaffected. It reverses direction, or it changes in a way that cannot be determined. So we have an electric field that's directed to the right, and we put a charge here of three microcoulombs. Now, the only thing you can say you, if, if the if the electric field is pointing in this direction, there's a positive source over here. So if you put a three microcoulomb uh, charge here, the only thing we know is that it would be repelled. Uh, now, if we were to change that and put a minus three microcoulomb, guess what? This stays the same, but what would happen with that minus three microcoulomb is that it would be directed towards, uh, uh, in, in the opposite direction as the positive three microcoulombs. But this, the electric field doesn't change. So the answer is A, it is unaffected. It is unaffected by the, by the changing of the three microcoulomb to the minus three microcoulomb. Now we don't know what the, the source, we just know that it's, it's four times 10 to the six newtons per coulomb. We don't know what is causing it, but the fact that we can change the test particle from three microcoulombs to minus three microcoulombs, that doesn't affect the original field. Okay. Um, particle in the field. Now you can see that this is a positive particle. The field is headed downward. It's a positive particle and it's being repelled by the electric field. So the force, the electric force is Q, whatever the charge is, two microcoulombs, three microcoulombs. It, it's the, the charge times the electric field and the electric field is newtons per coulomb. So if it's, let's say three microcoulombs and it's it, the electric field is in newtons per coulomb. The coulomb is gonna uh, gonna cancel, and all you're gonna end up with is newtons, which is a force, the electric force. Okay, electric field lines. We'll go on with the next. Uh, th that'll be the next little lecture. So I'm gonna stop the share.